Once upon a time, in the Shun state of Burma, Ella Sauter and Moan was a princess. Now she lives in exile in the United States, in Maryland, outside of the capital, Washington, very far from the home of her childhood. We were really living like the Burmese kings. We have to be very polite. We have to be very courteous, just like in a court. And then people, uh, people in a in a town, you know, they respect us. We didn't live very extravagant. The only thing that we were a little luckier than other people was uh, we had good schooling. But now, just like the title of the book she is reading, Ella's world has vanished. During the 1962 coup in Burma, General Ne Win took over the country, and Ella's father, a member of the Shan ethnic minority, was arrested, one of the many Sobwas, or kings, of the minority states in Burma that vanished. In our emails, you talked about the 1962 coup that had changed your family forever. Tell me about the time when they took your father away. Where did they put him? Nguyen took over the country, right? So he told one of his men to come and come to my father. And he didn't even say, he just said, General Nguyen wants to see you. So my father was dressed very well and then he went along and he never came home for six years. And two years after that, my mother had a heart attack and died and there were seven of my sisters with nobody to look after them. I could not forget what they did to my father and then I always feel that they killed my mother because she just dropped down and died. Shun State is the largest of Burma's ethnic regions and has been battling for the right to govern itself like it did centuries ago. In 1947, the Penglong Conference was convened to unite all the ethnic people in Burma. The Shun were promised that at the end of 10 years, they could secede from Burma. But when Aung San was assassinated, the promise died. Now, ethnic groups in Burma are calling for his daughter to hold a second Penglong conference in hopes of uniting the ethnic minorities of Burma. <laughs> Do Aung San Suu Kyi has said that a second Penglong conference is needed for national reconciliation. Many minorities have fled Burma and are living in the refugee camps along the Thai border. What do you want for the Shun people? What do you want for the Shan state right now? I wish that the Shan state would be free and then the Shans can come back to live. Now they are, most of them are over at the Thai border. They want to come back, but they cannot come back. They are suffering there. So I, my, my greatest wish is so that they, all the Shans can come back and live in the Shan state. But that is one wish the Shun Princess can't grant. Reporting from Gaithersburg, Maryland, I'm Kaylin, Voice of America.